Today's topic is impossible motion. Let me start with examples. Here we have an object. It looks like ordinary. There is a pole vertically and four pouches are extended in four directions. Now we will add motion. Here we have a red ring that is hard and flat. We can hang this ring in the following way. Well, like this. Now it seems that uh, the ring is hung in an impossible manner because the red ring passes behind the central pole, but it is in front of all the four patches. So we feel that uh, this is, looks like impossible. In this way, the object itself looks like ordinary, but when we add motion, the motion looks like impossible. This is what we call impossible motion illusion. In this case, if we see the object from different angles, we can understand what is happening. The four parties are all extend in the rear directions. We can see this from this angle. So the red ring can hang in that way. In this way, the motion is really possible. But the object, when uh, what we perceive, is different from the real shape. Next example, we have two windows extended in both directions. It looks like an ordinary object. We will insert a ball, a uh, bar. This bar is, this red bar is straight and hard but it can penetrate the two windows in this orientation. Uh, we feel that uh, it looks like impossible. This is another example of impossible motion. The actual situation can be understood if we rotate the object. The two windows are extended in the direction different from what we perceive. The center is farthest and the two side is nearer to the viewer. But when we come back from the uh, initial viewpoint, we feel that the two windows are extended in both sides. And so we can enjoy the impossible motion illusion again. In this way, the object itself looks like ordinary, but when we add motion, we can create some motions which looks like impossible. The general principle for this illusion is the following. When we are given the appearance of the object from, uh, through a single image, there are infinitely many possible 3D objects whose projection coincide with a given image. But our brains usually cannot um, consider all the possibilities. Instead, our brains perceive a single object and that is very rectangular, the object which has many rectangular structures. And so, if we show some object different from a rectangular object, then our planes perceive different shape, and we can create impossible motion, impression of impossible motion. This is a way to construct impossible motion object. We can show some examples with music. Please enjoy.
in the next example, we have two loops. Let me put ball here. It moves like that. The ball going uphill, downhill, alternately. So the uphill motion of the ball is an impossible motion. This is uh, another example of the anti-gravity slope illusion which we have presented in previous lecture. Now, this roof is made by a height reversing object. So if we deflect the uh, appearance in the mirror, the height is reversed. And so the same motion um, is <coughs> looks like two different motions. In the direct view, the ball is going up and down. In the, in the mirror image, the ball going, goes downhill and uphill. So that we can enjoy two different impossible motions. And this uh, roof structure is constructed by a flat plate. And so the uh, it behaves as a height reversing object. And we place this plate not exactly horizontally, but it is a little slanted. And so the ball put on it moves in one direction. In this way, we can enjoy two different impossible motions by only the same object. Today, I have shown impossible motion illusion. Finally, let me give a quiz. The question is, what is the actual shape of this object? A hint is that the rear side is different from what we perceive. The answer will be posted in the associated additional comment page of my web page. Thank you very much.